Good morning. I hope the day is treating you well so far. If not, I hope you treat it as badly as it treats you. <laughs> today I'm bringing you another kind of chill vlog video. We've already done some baking today. We're going to be doing even more baking later on. Experimenting maybe more than baking would be fair to say. <laughs> and I'm also going to be getting stuck into a traditional treat here in Italy today. It's about lunchtime just now and I am off to meet Francesco and a new friend for a little drink and maybe a little snack. And afterwards I'm going to make a trip to our local kind of big supermarket to finally get stuck into the incredible selection of Italian Easter eggs to have a little kind of unboxing and taste test with you later. But I am as usual already late so let's get going. <laughs> here in Italy, two Proseccos, one kebab, a visit to a friend's house later, we're back! <laughs> and we have the goods! If you're watching from the UK, you'll be thinking this looks a lot more elaborate than what we are used to at this time of year, and that is exactly why I bought one. <laughs> of course, every single country has different kind of you know, traditions at this time of year. For Christian countries or culturally Christian countries, chocolate it seems to be quite a common theme around Easter time. I don't know the exact origins, but otherwise you might find baked goods. For example, in the UK, we have hot cross buns to represent the crucifix that Jesus was crucified upon. Here in Italy, they have the colomba, which is, I believe, supposed to be a dove-shaped sweet bread slash cake thing that's similar to panettone but from what i've seen a lot of countries seem to use chocolate i imagine because it's very easy to sell and children always want it and secondly it just seems to have picked up a bit of a cultural wave so being an absolute chocolate slut <laughs> I just, I had to try one. Typically in the United Kingdom, our chocolate Easter eggs come in cardboard boxes, which are available here, but I just, I, I can't get over, I can't get over how pretty the packaging is here. It just looks so opulent. To people, you know, to Italian viewers or maybe to viewers elsewhere in the world, this might not look that particularly exciting, but I just, I couldn't take my eyes off them when I first saw them in a supermarket and I can't wait to get into it. Honestly, the most exciting part is the opening. Even, even more so than the eating sometimes. But this one in particular is a Gianduia hazelnut chocolate with whole hazelnuts inside it. Gianduia, if you're unfamiliar, is quite iconic in, in Italian confectionery. It's basically a combination of hazelnut and chocolate together made into this semi-solid paste usually. Sometimes it comes in truffle form, you'll see lots of gelato flavoured with Gianduia, and occasionally big brown beauties like this one. There's so much paper! Wow, okay, so inside we have this golden dinosaur egg. It's very Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I'm a big fan. And it's sitting in this cup which is obviously how it helps stand and not break. I can already smell the hazelnut in here. So just a big old chocolate egg that smells incredibile. The chocolate is super, super soft because it's Janduya. It's not entirely chocolate. It's a sort of half and half hazelnut paste. But you can see those big chunky whole hazelnuts in there. The chocolate itself isn't too strong because it's kind of milk chocolate. The hazelnuts really are the star. Mm. Rich, rustic, crunchy, and like perfectly toasted. And honestly, despite the fact that this was a little bit pricey, the amount, look at this, the amount of hazelnuts in there, look at that. There's like an entire farm <laughs> of hazelnuts buried in the chocolate. And some parts are kind of thicker with chocolate than others. It almost feels, I know it isn't, but it almost feels somewhat homemade, something a bit special. Happy Easter. 
I must also add, I must also add. Uh, British people, do you ever find that when you open an Easter egg and if you don't eat it all in one sitting, you wrap it back up, the foil never fits. Like the foil that once covered the egg does not fit over the egg again, even if you've eaten 50% of the egg. Look at this. Not only does it fit after me having eaten only a quarter, it fits neatly and we've got extra wrapping. I love this country. I'm also very happy to confirm that the granola from this morning is crunchy and tasty. Coconut, sunflower seeds, oats, and some white hazelnut spread. Gorgeous. Okay, so we have the oven on. Kitchen is already a little bit of a mess, so I'm gonna film as little as possible. But inspiration for today's kitchen experimentation comes from Latibuski. This is quite a famous brand here in the north of Italy, and this is their ricotta, which I'm sure you have probably already read. Recently, as you may have seen, I shared a cheesecake recipe on the channel and it didn't seem right to have another straight up cheesecake recipe. Something I've never made before is like cheesecake brownies. Cheesecake blondies, yes, but like cheesecake brownies, no. So I want to try and make like raspberry and ricotta brownies today. We're running out of daylight. I've already eaten like 200 grams of chocolate and hazelnuts. Do I need these today? No. Are we making them anyway? Yeah. 